Here we are. Tell us why a Halo player should buy this game. Uh, well, I was a Halo player, and I love this game. Uh, I'm a product of the Halo community. I played Halo with my clan for years, and then Bungie brought me on board to help introduce this game to the community. Uh, this is our next uh, step in our evolution as a developer. Um, Destiny builds on a lot of things that we loved when we made Halo. Uh, it's a great science fiction game, although we kind of see this world through a different lens. You know, it's more like mythic science fiction. You know, we've got elements of magic, mysticism coming into the mix. Um, but at its heart, as much as we talk about exploration, as much as we talk about progression and evolution, Destiny has the beating heart of an action game, a first-person shooter filled with excitement. We know that uh, it will be a great cooperative game, but we don't know lots of things about the competitive uh, mode. Can you tell us uh, something? About competitive multiplayer? Yeah, well, with Destiny, we're creating activities for every mood. Um, there's cooperative activities like exploring the story, unlocking the secrets of that world. There are activities that require teamwork and heavy problem solving, but there's always going to be that opportunity to enter the arena and fight other guardians, see who's the best, uh, battle each other for prowess and bragging rights and unlock rewards that are specific to competitive multiplayer. We've always loved that at Bungie. Uh, you know, we put competitive multiplayer and matchmaking into the hand of the console gamer. Uh, we've introduced a lot of people to that phenomenon and we're totally going to extend that into this game. Could it be an uh, eSport? You know, we really need the community to tell us what Destiny is going to be. Uh, right now this game is very much like uh, an empty bucket and when we pour our community into that bucket, they'll show us what we've created, like they always do. We give it to them, and they are the ones that will tell us what it is. And we can't wait for them to interact in this world. We can't wait for them to show us what the most important parts of this game are. I'm sure there are people that will be very competitive in this game. And, you know, the people who have the most fun, the people who have the loudest voices about what they love about this game are going to be the ones that we amplify. Could you tell us something about the story of Destiny? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's definitely uh, a very rich narrative experience that we're building into this game. You know, a lot of people talk about the opportunities to explore, you know, in the open, expansive world, but we are telling a rich tale full of mystery and adventure in this game. Uh, it's got a distinctive mi beginning, middle, and an end, and we hope that is what will propel many people through the experience. Uh, there are characters in this game, there is uh, you know, a narrative in this game that will you know, spin out in a very cinematic fashion and uh, moving from one beat to the next of that story will be one of the things that propels you to become legend. Uh, the story of this game is very much a mystery. It's rooted in questions and riddles, so I can't ruin that for you. But I can tell you that mankind enjoyed a golden age where we colonized our entire solar system but something knocked that down. There was a horrible cataclysm that reduced all of that to cinders. And as a guardian of the last safe city in Destiny, you will venture out into our solar system to recover all that we've lost and unlock you know, the, the sad secrets of the past. How oh, the cross-gen component uh, have uh, limited your game? When we began making this game, we built a new game engine from the ground up, and we knew that we wanted to make this game for as many gamers as we possibly could. Uh, that includes, as you might know, releasing it on the PS4, the PS3, uh, the Xbox One, and the Xbox 360. And uh, when we created the new tools to make that game, we wanted to make sure that we could make a game that would be great on any box that you decided that you would use to play it. So our objective has always been to create a great game that could be enjoyed by gamers on the current and next-gen consoles. So if you play this game on the current gen, you're going to have all the same game features and game mechanics and activities as the people on the next gen. But our technical art directors cannot talk enough about how more immersive the world will be on the next gen consoles, given the added strength that we have to, to paint that world. Community has always been important for Bungie. How can we affect the game? By playing it, uh, by playing it with each other. 
you know, the community in this game will create action for each other. Uh, it's my hope as the Bungie community manager that your favorite character in Destiny will be your friend that you play with. You know, your buddy who covers you, you know, who watches your back when you're, you know, in a very dangerous situation. Um, the way the different classes come together in Destiny enable you to combine your powers and to blend the ways that you fight to create something that is far more dangerous than any of you could be on your own. A fire team in Destiny is way more dangerous than a lone wolf. Um, you know, when a hunter, a warlock, and a titan play this game together, they will truly change the way the game unfolds. Um, and that is really what I'm looking most forward to, is to see the way the community takes this game, makes it their own, and has endless fun together playing it in any different number of combinations. Uh, the way you fight and the way you look will change the more you play this game. So you can approach the game with different classes, with different weapons, with different abilities, and it'll completely change the dynamic. One phrase to describe Destiny. Become legend. And one word to describe Destiny. Action. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.